Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about calculus. The topic today is about limit. So now I want to show you how to answer. The figure shows a circular arc of length H and a chord of length D, both subtended by a central angle theta. So now I want to show you how to find this one in here. The first thing we need to find H and D in terms of theta and radius R. So now we know that H on the red line in here, we have the formula in here that should be about theta over 2B multiplied by 2R. B. This is the formula to find about H. About D, we need to concentrate about this triangle in here. We have D, we have R, and we have theta. We can find about D in terms of R and theta in here. That should be about D squared equal to R squared plus R squared minus 2 r r cosine theta and now we put the square root for the both side this one we have 2 r square in here this one we have 2 r square cosine theta and now we have the limit in here. So H, that is about this one. And D, that is about this one. So we need to simplify to be to be we simplify and we just have only theta multiplied by r so we have two r square two r square we can do about factorization So this one I will put outside. So we have the square root of number 2 with R. So R and R we simplify. Now we consider about cosine theta. So we have the formula in here. Cosine two eight. We can change by 1 minus 2 psi a square. So about cosine theta. We can change by cosine with number 2 multiplied by theta over 2. And now we need to transform into this one. So, I will put this one going here, and we have like this.
so 1 minus 1 we can solve and now we just have like this So if we put this one go outside, we see that theta approach to number zero on the right, on the right so side of theta over two, that's still about positive, and then we can put like this. Now, square root of number 2, square root of number 2, that is about number 2. And now, theta, I will put this one cone here. So, I will put 1 over 2 in here and another 1 over 2 in here. So we know that number two and number two they can solve. And now we have the formula in here. So we know that's one over two, that's about eight. S, that's about theta. So this one in here equals to number one. So the final answer that's about one over number one, and that is about number one. So the answer of this one equals to number one. This is the end. Thank you for watching.